PTO PCO Josh Sedidis is here to explain the patent power and an industry wake up call with the company. So Josh, last time you were on, you talked about uh, the digital business card that you invented yeah. and that PTOP holds multiple patents related to digital business card technology. So what makes these patents so foundational? So I think our, our patents are foundational because it sets an industry standard they lay the foundation for the digital business card. So when I said it wasn't a marketing statement, we invented the digital business card, that is true. Our, our flagship patents, including US patent number 10616368, and then our second patent, 10270880, cover what we call the electronic interactive business card mobile software system. And it's the first patented method that allows a user to share an interactive profile in real time from one mobile device or web app to another, um, while maintaining full control of analytics through a central database. So with over 19 material claims and the three most notable being sharing logic, um, third party sharing and data analytics tracking shared by a link, um, utility patents, are good for 20 years from the time that you have filed them, it means that no one can legally um, replicate the functionality or the method described in our claims without our, permis our permission. This prevents competitors from copying um, MobiCard, the real-time sharing process, or other material claims that are key to the functional functionality of a digital business card and enables the digital profile exchange. Um, it also, covers, it's not just the appearance of, of a digital business card. So unlike design patents, utility patents, which the design patent is like the look of something, a utility patent protects how, it's, how it works, the logic behind that, the process, the mechanism behind it. Um, so for PTOP, our patents cover the process of exchanging interactive profiles between devices in real time, storing transmission data, and updating all connected users, not just just the design of the card itself. So this was more than just a, a V card or a QR code exchange. It, exactly. So a, a QR code or NFC tags are just delivery mechanisms. Um, what what we patent is the method, the real-time interactive exchange, the logic that governs how profiles are transmitted, accepted, stored, and updated across multiple recipients. So with our, our patent describes it as the originator and the N plus one recipient chain. Uh, that's lawyer language that's in the patent, that's written by lawyers for lawyers. But basically every time a user shares a Mobi card, they're using the process that we invented. It's the connective tissue behind digital business cards as we know it. But how does PTOP ensure the integrity of the data exchange system? So that's a great question, right? Um, I think integrity would go to, and I'll, I'm gonna tell a little bit of a story. I don't know if you've ever heard of Johannes Guttenberg. The, the printer. Yes, yeah. you're my one. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Most people don't know who he is, but like that, the, he invented the printing press in the 1400s, 1440 to be exact. And that was kind of the demise of calligraphy, right? And just like we're going to lead to the demise of the paper business card industry, um, Guttenberg invented the patent in 14, in, I mean, he invented the printing press rather in 1440, and he needed to take a loan from a guy named John First at the time in order to pay for it. But back then, utility patents didn't exist. So after he had, he had did it, the, the guy he took the loan from called the loan, he couldn't pay it, ended up taking his printing press and hiring his assistant, and then they made all the money. And unfortunately, Johannes Guttenberg died in poverty. Yeah. Um, however, you know, and Guttenberg's story is exactly why modern utility patents like PTOPs exist to protect in inventors from losing control of their innovations once they've been publicly revealed. Um, so if Guttenberg had PTOPs type of protection back then, he would have earned royalties from every book that was printed in Europe. He would be one of the richest people in the world today. Yeah. So fast forward, right? Fast forward to the 1900s, the Wright brothers. Everyone's heard of the Wright brothers, right? They in invented the winged plane, but what they invented was actually the method of wing gain control over an airplane's flight. Now they did the exact opposite. 
They did the exact opposite. Patent Utility patents existed at the time. They went after every single one of their competitors. They were successful win after win. They shut people down. Judges issued injunctions. And they basically controlled the entire airline industry in the United States until World War II when the government intervened and they wanted more people to mass pr produce airplanes. So the rights provided the control of the core process, not the outer design, which is what truly defines innovation. PTOP is doing the same for digital business card exchange, except this time we want to invite our competitors to join us rather than to fight us and be put out of business. So what kind of innovation process led to securing such a strong claim? So we, we work closely with New England patent and trademark law over, over a decade. Um, the first provisional patent was filed back in 2014. Provisional patents are only good for a short period of time, but that evolved into robust set of claims. By 2019, that covered both mobile and web applications. Each iteration of our patents added depth, permissions logic, peer-to-peer -peer prop, um, propagation, automatic updated frameworks. And the result obviously is two fully granted US patents. We also have one pending continuation patent and a portfolio uh, designed for licensing and enforcement. Now you mentioned enforcement. So there's some major news on that front. Yeah, so, you know, when I came on the, sh when I came on the program last time, I told you that we invented the patent. We are now, we've a big announcement today is that we have officially retained a national patent infringement law firm to represent us in enforcing our patent and property rights. Um, after years of watching competitors clone our functionality, we've been moving to send formal notification letters to every company infringing on our patents. You know, we've invested too much at this time, money and vision uh, to let others profit from our work. Yeah. So that sounds like a serious step. Are you planning to file lawsuits? So yeah, that would be the inevitable conclusion. However, our goal, our first goal is not litigation. Our, our goal is cooperation. So we want to invite everybody under the tent of our, you know, PTOP. Um, you know, it's a $300 billion digital industry market. And instead of wasting money on redundant code and court fees, we'd rather invite our competitors to join yeah. us. So PTOP then essentially positioning itself as the gatekeeper of business technology, digital technology? D digital business cards, okay. for, for sure. I mean, that's one way to put it. Um, we're the only publicly traded digital business card, and we have the intellectual property rights to back it up and the patents. Um, you know, we want to protect the real-time interactive business card exchange system that we built. We paid our maintenance fees. We've defended our filings, and we've built the live product, MobiCard, that proves the technology works in the real world. So our message to the market is very clear. If your app updates digital contact info across devices or tracks view, uh, viewer analytics tied to share pro shared profiles, you're likely standing on PTOP's intellectual property. So for investors or potential partners, what's next? So I think probably the next update that we give will be about our AI division. I think that every company that functions out there, if you don't have some type of adoption of AI, and we did start a new division called PTOP Intelligence Labs, um, and there will be a lot of updates that are significant that will be coming from that that wing of the business. So how does it feel, kind of feeling your, having your vision come full circle? I, it's really great. I mean, it's, I feel gratitude. I feel satisfaction. Um, it's very gratifying. I started with a simple belief, you know, over a decade ago that paper business cards were wasteful, harmful for the environment, and really not effective. Um, and now we've come over 10 years later, we've got a patented system that literally can replace the, the waste. Um, and now we're moving to enforce those rights. So I feel a renewed sense of mission. We're not just protecting innovation, we're protecting the integrity of innovation itself. Okay, Josh, thank you so much for this update. Thank you.